beautiful and welcome back to my channel and welcome to this video that's going to be so exciting because today we're going to do a full face of one of my absolute favorite brands which is Natasha Denona. I'm just going to be applying all of it to my face. I have I have nothing on right now and I'm just going to give you reviews of all of it as we go because I do have I do have quite a lot of her range so this is going to be so so exciting. I am very much looking forward to be playing with this makeup and if you haven't been here before if this is your first video here hello my name is angie i'm such a lover of beauty makeup i love everything beauty and makeup related i especially love a little bit more of a colorful look so we're gonna try and play a little bit with color natasha denona does really fun colorful shadows so that's definitely what we're doing today and if you want to see some more color in the timeline if you want to see some more makeup content on the timeline don't forget to subscribe because i upload well normally five times a week but now i'm uploading actually every day until christmas <laughs> So I have everything here in front of me. I don't have all the eyeshadows here. I am gonna, I have like all the other products here, but I am gonna film a separate video uh, ranking all my Natasha Denona eyeshadows because I do have quite a lot of them. But I thought today we could do something fun combining some palettes. So I wanna combine the holiday palette of 2019, which was the Met uh, Metropolis palette cannot speak, and the holiday palette from last year, which was the Trio Chrome palette, with what I think is the holiday palette of this year, the uh, Retro palette. I mean, none of these palettes, I think, necessarily were like marketed to be like holiday palettes, but they were big palettes that came uh, out in the holiday season, so that that's what we're doing. But we're gonna start with foundation, and I don't have anything on my face. I don't usually use primers, but we are gonna go in with my actually like favorite foundation of all time. This is the Natasha Denona Foundation X Plus. I have it in two different shades. It is the 41Y and it is the 25W. This is a warm, it's a light foundation with warm undertone and this is a medium foundation with a warm yellow undertone. I think we're gonna use this one today. I don't really have that much self tanner on, just a hint, so maybe we'll actually mix these two. Let me zoom in and we can start. Let's just do one pump of each. This is the lighter one and this is the a more medium one. Let's just do uh, one pump of each and let's just see. I think that this turned out to be a pretty good color. I don't know, but I love this foundation. This foundation is a high coverage, very liquidy foundation. It's very, very skin-like. It has a very, uh, the finish is very like skin-like as well. It's not like a matte, but it's more like a satin matte. It's not dewy though, it does dry down completely so that it is like touch proof. It is just a wonderful foundation. I don't need to set it and it still will last on me for like 12 hours. It doesn't break up on me. I do have normal skin. I don't have dry skin. I don't have oily skin. I do have a lot of fine lines though. I mean, I'm 37 turning 38 pretty soon and it doesn't really settle too much into my fine lines. It just looks like my skin but airbrushed all day and I just really love this foundation. I do think though that it might be discontinued. Is this... I think that this is an okay shade, right? I thought it was gonna be too light first but I think it looks pretty okay. This is my favorite foundation of all time. I do have a backup of this one. Do think it's being discontinued but I will say it is so beautiful and so wonderful and I have high hopes that whatever comes out after is gonna be well, I'm hoping it's just as good. I don't have any concealer or powder though from Natasha Denona. I actually never tried a concealer and when I was trying to like organize this video, I realized that I've never tried the concealer. Let me know if you have tried the concealer and the powder from Natasha Denona. I am not a powder like lover. I have my powder that I love and I use it all the time. So I'm just gonna use a little bit concealer under my eyes and I'm just gonna do some powder under my eyes nowhere else. I decided to do my brows and a little bit of eye primer. I used the Sigma eyeshadow uh, base stick. Uh, I did have the, oh and I have a cat hair and my lashes hold. I did have the Natasha Denona eyeshadow base like the primer, but I actually used it all up. So it's in my empties. Really, really do like it. Really, really do recommend it. I mean, I used mine up. That if something will tell you something. Wow. So I am gonna do some bronzer. This is, I did get some things of this scent as PR. I will put everything that I am using down in the description box. This video isn't sponsored, but I did receive 
I think two of these things I received as PR, this being one of them. This is the Mini Bronze and Glow, and I'm gonna use the bronze shade. I will put the things that I have, uh, that I put on off camera as well down below. I will use the bronze shade. This is very, very pigmented. I've seen a lot of people, wait, let me uh, re repackage myself. I've seen a lot of people really love this one. I love the form of this one, but I don't love the color of this one. I think that this one is too red for me. I don't love a reddish bronzer on me because I don't have like a red skin tone. So on me, I just feel like it's like blush draping when the bronzer is just a little bit too red. So I really like this formula. It is pigmented, which is something that I actually do like when it comes to bronzers. It is pigmented, but at the same time, it is uh, very blendable, but it's just a little bit too red for me. I really hope that Natasha Denona will come out with uh, like bronzers in the future because I feel like she's been like she has some sculpt shades But I've seen them in real life and they look pretty like sculpt sculpty not very like warm and bronzy which is not what they're meant to be either, but they are definitely not like Bronzer shades, so I would love to see some bronzers come in the future and I really hope that that is what 2021 has in store for us because yeah, I really like this formula. This shade just is not the right shade for me. It is just a little bit too red. How does this look in the viewfinder? I'm looking in the viewfinder here and it's looking a little bit weird, but it looks good in real life. Does it look weird? I feel like this looks weird. I don't know. I'm gonna go over this with just a little bit of like glowy finishing powder which is something that I don't have from the brand either but I really wish that they would have and I'm just gonna this one is from NYX I'm just gonna like soften the edges up a little bit with this glowy finishing powder I'm just basically just going over I have quite a lot of cheek products from the brand like I was starting to pull some things out for this video and I realized I have a lot of things that are like cheek products first of all let's talk about these first this is the love glow cheek palette this is i think this is the first one that came out it has a little flap here that you have the cream under and this one that is like it's a powder but it's like very very creamy powder it's almost a little bit not putty like but it's a very like creamy powder and then you have this one that's more of a baked formula and more of a powder formula this is a really beautiful palette i like this one more than i like the one that came out this year i think this came out this year i'm pretty sure that this came out this year this is a cream blush and it is a highlighting powder the the formula of this one is beautiful, but this isn't my color. I don't usually go for very pink cheeks, so I don't know what I was thinking with this one. This one is really beautiful, but it's more of a glowy like a blush topper on me. It's too dark for me to be a highlighter, so even though I like the formula a lot, it's not my perfect colors. And then we have the I Need a New Glow. I don't love this formula. This is a baked jelly formula, and this one is really hardly pressed, and it gives it gives a glow, but it's not the kind of formula that I prefer. I prefer something that's a little easier to pick up on a brush and something that gives a little bit more glow than this one. I have not tried the Super Glow from Natasha Nona. I've heard people really love them. These are the uh, Duo Glows, and I have both the colors. This one is in Alba, which is a warm, like, corally peach to a gold. And this one is Rayo, which is more of an icy pink. This is a blush highlighter hybrid. So let's actually use this one today. I love this one. I think this is my favorite cheek product from the brand because I just think it's so beautiful. Let me see if I can find a good brush for this. Hello? I'm just going to use a highlighter brush from uh, Sigma. And I just go in, and this one picks up really nice. And I'm just going to go over where I put my blush, and then I'm also going to drag it up a little bit. It just gives a beautiful color, but also a soft glow. So it's like a glowy blush that you can drag up a little bit. It doesn't give you that like super highlighted look, but it gives a little bit of a glowy blush draping moment. I really like this like formula. I've been recommending it for years. If you're looking for a very forgiving and easy to work with like glowy blush formula, definitely recommend these. I think they're absolutely stunning. So 
yeah, that is the Alba shade on my cheeks, and I think it looks stunning. I thought we used the oh, the highlighter from the new Natasha Nona Glam Face Palette. This one has recently come out. I haven't even, like when I'm filming this, I have just used this for a video. I haven't even hauled this one yet. These are five eyeshadows. People are asking if these were the magnetized eyeshadows. I don't know if these are magnetized, but I can tell you right now that there's no hole in the backs. So if there are magnetized, they're not easy to get out. I did see someone say that they're not, so I don't know. Uh, the size of these, let me, let me show you. This is the size of the midi palette and this is the size of the eyeshadows. I think that this is the eyeshadow uh, pan size that is in the midi palette if you were wondering what like size the eyeshadows were in this one. And I would say the cheek products are a little smaller than the cheek products in, in this one. The the Love uh, Cheek Duo that came out this year. But I mean, they're definitely uh, bigger than the ones that are in the Mini Bronze and Glow. So, for reference. This is a cream blush, and the other one is like a... It is like a putty highlighter. It's not like a cream highlighter, but it's definitely... It's like a powder, but it has a little bit of a slip to it. It's definitely not a cream. Maybe it's not even a putty, but it just feels... A little slippier, a little slippier, and it's supposedly a new formula, and I like this formula a lot, a lot more than I like the I Need a Nude uh, highlighter formula, so I really hope that this one comes out in singles as well, because I really feel like this will be such a nice highlighting formula. I have the Dark Palette, and I bought this one myself, and I have the Dark Palette, because I like dark eyeshadows, but as you can see, this highlighter has a very transparent base, so it will stretch over quite a lot of skin tones because I can wear it on my skin tone. It doesn't look too... it's not like lifting <laughs> because it is definitely not lighter than my skin tone. I would say like it is my skin tone, but it does have a pretty transparent base. So I don't feel like there's that much cast even though... Uh, it is meant for a darker skin tone. All in all, this highlighter formula is incredible and I really, really hope that we will see that formula in future things as well. I'm putting it back in the packaging. This is how I remember which things I have not officially hauled on my channel versus the ones I have because if I put them back in the packaging, that means that they need to be hauled. <laughs> I really love, I have, oh, I have three different formulas here that I want to talk about from Natasha Nona when it comes to lips. I love the Lipophorias, which is the uh, lip glosses with, this one has a minty smell and like a minty cooling feeling on the lips. This one is in mauve, I think, yeah. they These came out, I don't remember which collection these came out with, but I adore this formula. I unfortunately only have one. I wanted to get the mid-tone one from the bronze collection, but it is sold out. But I, that one is so beautiful. If she comes out with more lip, lipophorias, definitely recommend them. They're not stinging on the lips, but they do have a minty sensation. Absolutely stunning. The I Need a Nude lipsticks and lip liners from Natasha Nona are beautiful. This is my absolute favorite color. Both in the lip liner and the lipstick is in Noah. This is my perfect nude. It is like a neutral but not orange or peachy brown that has a slight rosy undertone without being pink and it is like a mid-tone nude on me. Noah is the, the, the perfect nude for me if we're gonna be totally honest. I love it so much and it's the Noah in the lip liner as well. This formula is very comfortable, satin, high opacity, just feels and wears beautiful. The lip liner is really beautiful too, but I'm gonna say with this one, as I say with all lip liners, there are incredible lip liners that are affordable that, I'm gonna be honest, unless you wanna splurge and get a Natasha Denona lip liner, you can get really good lip liners from NYX, uh, Colourpop, Juvia's Place, like, you don't need to be spending this kind of money to get a good lip liner. If you just want to buy one product, I would recommend the lipsticks instead. Like, they're beautiful, magnetic, the packaging is stunning. Um, I would recommend that over a lip liner because I do feel like you can get really good lip liners affordable. But I'm going to put this on. Uh, this is the Noah shade. And we can do some eyeshadows because I'm excited. I love eyeshadows. I just really love how this lipstick looks on. Ignore how much I overline my lips. I don't know what came over me. <laughs> I don't know what came over me. So, I also have these. 
I also have these. These are liquid uh, duochrome or like multi-chrome shadows. These are the trio chromes. Like these are the ones that came out before the trio chrome palette. These are called chromes. I have it in ultraviolet and I have it in scarab. Scarab is a blue to green to gold and the ultraviolet is a blue to green to like purple so this is this is gonna look more gold on the eyes and this is gonna look more purple with the green like shift at the end i thought maybe we can go over our liners with this at the end but we could do our eyeshadows uh first let me see if i can okay so here's what i'm thinking this one has a lot of like burgundies and i love this one for my inner corners and in the trio chrome we have a lot of really fun colors maybe do we want to do something berry with this one or do we want to do do we want to do an all matte look and then like a multi-chrome liner? Maybe that could be a moment because this one has some really fun yellows and greens and then we can deepen it up with um, the dark green in this one and just do a green with the berry lower lash line all matte and a multi-chrome liner. How about that? I love how I'm asking you like you're going to be able to tell me like, yes, please do that. Ugh. Um... Okay, so let's start with this one. It's called Velt. I, I, I still am thinking that this is green and French, but I'm not 100% sure because I feel like some of these other names are like actual like from the periodic table. So I don't know if I'm like correct in, in saying this. So I'm gonna start with this one in the crease. And then we deepen it up with the one from the uh, the Metropolis palette. I actually love combining palettes with each other. It's one of my favorite things. And greens together with like pinks and berries. I have always loved that combo and especially these kind of like warmer greens. So yeah, let's start with this one in the crease. And then we'll deepen it up with the dark green from the Metropolis palette. Maybe I'll put this on the lid as well, to be fair. Yeah, I'll put this on the lid as well. We'll deepen it up with the other one and we'll do a very lower lash line. These are all palettes that I really love. I'm gonna do a separate video where I rank all of my Natasha Denona palettes because I do have almost all of them. So keep your eye open for that one. I am in the process of trying out and reviewing the last one right now. So that video is coming soon. Don't think I forgot, I didn't forget. Okay, this is the green one from the Metropolis palette, which is called... Wait, wait, I still have it here. Royal. I think that Royal, like this dark green and the two like dark blues that is called Symbol and Enigma. I think those are my favorite colors. Oh, and this one. Wait, let me show you. I'm, not, I'm just saying these two dark blue ones, the dark green one and this like this green here these are all these four that i showed you here they're all for like cream to powder those are the most used shades in this palette those are my favorites in this palette and i even wore some of these greens on my wedding so i mean i think that that says a lot about how much i love them that is really pretty i don't want it to be too much out here so i'm trying to just put some in the outer corner and I'm gonna see if I can just blend it out with the brush that I had and some more of the what did I use the vet one am I saying that correctly I don't feel like I am oh, I'm just making stuff up but I just remember from like French in school but now that I see it I'm not a hundred percent sure if that is the actual shade name can we talk about how perfect these work together like i'm only using two shadows and i feel like this is so pretty so pretty i'm i'm a big big fan and this one has so many fun mats and so many mats that will work together like it will work together with this one as well because they have these like more like grayish mauve like purples here and also this one would be so pretty together with the retro palette so Yum, yum, yum. I think we're gonna do something really dark and berry. I think we're gonna do this one on the lower lash line and I'll blend it out a little bit with this one here. The one that's like a mauve pink. I think I'm gonna use those two and I honestly think it's gonna be so pretty. Yes, I have like, I'm, I'm hyping myself up. 
I mean, if I don't hype myself up, who's gonna, who's gonna do it? Who's gonna do it? Be your own best cheerleader. So we're doing the dark berry closest to the lash line. And I'm not too worried about this area right now because I know I'm gonna do that winged liner. Ugh. I think Metropolis is my favorite palette by Natasha Denona and I really really do love the love palette but it's being discontinued and I think the Metropolis is on its way out as well so maybe Retro will be like the the most favorite palette that is still like easy to get a hold of on all places that sell Natasha Denona because in Sweden you can't get either the Metropolis or the love they're already sold out and they're no longer available just blending out the edge with the mm, Andy shade, which is that lighter, like, almost like a cool tone mauve pink. And just using that a little bit to blend it out a little bit. A little bit, a little bit. Don't come for me. I want to use the mod shade, which is this, like, almost white. It's such a light pink that it looks white. So I want to use that in my inner corners to brighten up this area before we go in with the liquid liner. And I am going to be using the liquid liner by Natasha Denona. That one was also sent to me as PR together with this retro palette that I am um, using right now and I really like the liner even though it is a felt tip liner it is incredibly pigmented and easy to use it's very detailed and I haven't had any issues at all let me get it here it is I haven't had any issues at all with the tip fraying even though it is a felt tip liner this is a good felt tip liner I will say though is it user friendly? If you're a beginner, I don't know about that because it is extremely pigmented. As soon as the tip touches the eye, you're gonna get pigment. So you need to be a little bit like, I would say that this is a good and like excellent liner if you're used to doing liners. If you're not used to doing liners, you might think that it's a little bit too scary. So I'm gonna do a liner out here. And this is why I didn't bother with the uh, how they meet here because I knew that I was gonna do a liner. I think I'm gonna do a look a, a bit of a thicker liner so that we can cover the liner up with the chrome shadow. To get these to show up you don't really need to have a base underneath but I don't know if you know this from before but multi-chromes that have a black base they do tend to show up more intensely you can truly see the shifts so i'm gonna go over this black liner once it dries down with the liquid shadow to get this to be a, like a liquid chrome liner i think that's gonna be really nice i mean the look is good as it is right here it's a really really nice look i'm gonna put some burgundy in my waterline as well and of course some mascara but i have the liquid shadow here this one is in scarab it is such a pretty, like, greenish gold. Why is there a fly here? Seriously, sir! It is November in Sweden. Flies are not supposed to be alive. This is a bent eyeliner brush by Makeup Geek. I think this is my favorite eyeliner brush. I've had it for a really long time. It's a really nice one. And I'm just taking some on the tip of this eyeliner brush. And let me come closer. You're going to be able to hear my autofocus, but it is what it is. And I'm just going to paint can you see how pigmented this is especially on top of the black i'm gonna paint on top of the liner and you can see the action what is going on outside my window i am sorry about the background noise or maybe you don't even hear it and then people are going to be annoyed that i said that i'm sorry about the background noise it sounds like they are scraping snow but there's no snow you tell me you can hear that so loud I don't know what's going on but yeah I'm just gonna be like painting on the line and if I miss a little bit or if I like draw a little bit outside it's not that deep it's not that deep do the best we can I'm gonna put some mascara on and do something in the water line and hope with this guy we'll go for a break look at that line is that not so fun oh I'm such a fan, but yeah, this is the look with like mascara and something in the waterline. I think it's fun like as it is, but I'm gonna put on some um, some lashes myself. I do have some half lashes here. I've been using these like crazy, the Vive and Smokey. They're so good, but yeah, that's gonna be the finished thing. 
that's gonna be the finished thing and it's gonna be the finished look I really like this eye look I think it's super super fun I'm so happy I went with like this route because I really do love the Natasha Denona cream to powder and I really love her mattes so I feel like I'm so happy that I decided to do an all matte look and just with this liner so let me finish this up and we can have a final chat about like just my thoughts on the brand and yeah this guy he did not take a break can you believe that it's already dark behind me? <gasps> what is this life? What is this life that I'm living? But this is the finished look. I mean, I really love Natasha Denona products. I think all of the products that I've tried have been really good. The only one that I'm a little bit hesitant regarding is this one, the I Need a New Glow. Not because I think it's necessarily a bad product, but I feel the same way about this one as I feel about the Anastasia Beverly Hills Iced Out Highlighter. They're not bad, they're just not really worth this high price tag and there are so many more flattering and fun and like, like just more gorgeous highlighters for less money so I mean the packaging and the everything I feel exactly the same about this one as I feel about the ABH eye style highlighter they're they're nice but they're not that great I feel like this highlighter formula the new one from the face palette is stunning and the eyeshadows are some of my absolute favorites I love the Natasha Denona formulas and I haven't really tried a palette like an eyeshadow palette from Natasha Denona that I didn't like I haven't tried any duds I know that there are duds out there but I haven't tried any of them have you tried the concealers and the powders I just never got around to them I do feel though that she is revamping her line because a lot of the things that she can out with first with the concealers and the contour powders and some of the highlighters and the blushes and a lot of those things it seems like those never got the hype that she got from the eyeshadows so I feel like she's probably revamping that line uh, hopefully like trying to create a buzz around them as well as she has around her eyeshadows because her eyeshadows are pretty well known pretty well loved but I'm here to tell you that the other things are really good too if I were to recommend anything from the Touch and Denona line I would recommend the lipsticks of course the eyeshadows, but except the eyeshadows. The lipsticks, the I Need a Nude lipsticks are beautiful. Also the lip gloss, the Lipophorias, absolutely wonderful, but not if you don't like mint. If you don't like mint, <laughs> they're not for you. Then the Duo Glows. Who? The Duo Glows, absolutely, absolutely stunning. Really, really love it. And I really like the liquid liner. I want to try the pen liner as well. I haven't tried it. This liquid liner does not dry down uh, ultra matte though so if you like something that's ultra ultra matte or if you hate anything that has a little bit of a it's not that it's glowy but it's definitely not ultra matte it might not be for you but those are things that I love of course the foundation but I think the foundation is being discontinued if you can find your shade try the foundation uh, it is a beautiful foundation it is pretty much discounted in every place that you can find it but the shades are starting to sell out but yeah, I think that the line has really beautiful stuff and I can't wait to see what's coming out in the future. Have you tried something from the brand that I haven't tried? Please let me know your thoughts down below. Is there something that I'm missing out on? I feel like people have been raving about the Super Glow formula, like the highlighters, and I have not tried that one. So let me know what you think about that. Also, don't forget to subscribe to not miss out on my upcoming ranking of Natasha Denona palettes because I have quite a few not only the minis and the, I have the big ones and the midi ones I have quite a few of them so definitely that is coming up and also like I said we are in the middle of vlogmas I'm starting a little earlier this year because I'm not 100% sure that I will be able to upload all the way up until Christmas because I'm moving in December but I'm, I'm, I'm doing an early vlogmas just starting a bit early so I am gonna have a video tomorrow as well uploading every day until hopefully Christmas but we'll see so don't forget to subscribe and I will see you again tomorrow bye